Hey there, I'm Jackie Ray from 840 and 910 CFCW. Backstage, Tim McGraw, Faith Hill. Welcome Hi. to Canada. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to be here. Thank you. Okay, right, so I have to say, ACM Awards, at the end of the song when you leapt into Tim's arms, was that joy, was it relief? What, what was it? I, uh, I don't remember jumping up. Everyone says I jumped up and down, and I don't remember doing that until you did. I, I, I did. I saw a picture. It was adorable. Was like, oh my gosh! I think it was both relief and joy, and mostly joy. Yeah, it was just a moment of uh, uh, unforgettable moment for us, actually. For me, that song's hard to sing, so it was relief. <laughs> <laughs> First song, it will be, that's the first single off a duets album mm -hmm. that you're working mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. When you're putting together a duets album, you can't obviously do 10 It's Your Loves. So there's yeah. got to be some variety right. on it. Uh, you need some It's it's Your Turn to Take Out the Garbage songs. I don't know, <laughs> but where's the variety? It's always my turn to take out the garbage. Ah, that's funny. You're right, though. You're exactly right. Otherwise, it's just... It's too. Monotonous, you need a yeah. little sour. It can always be so sweet. You need a little sweet and sour, and salty. You need all that. Well, we, Rocky well, Road. Yeah. Not what we tried to do cream. is is just <laughs> find a bunch of great songs. We weren't necessarily looking for duets. We were just yeah. looking for great songs and sort of. Well, speak to a girl wasn't a duet. It was mm -hmm. just a song. So we, we we thought we'd find great songs that told stories, and the whole album sort of tells a story all the way through. We find just great songs and try to figure out a way to sing them. Some of them are duets. Some of them are. Me singing and Faith doing harmony through the song, and some of them are Faith singing and me doing harmony. So, yeah. So, do, when a duet album happens like that, do you go to Nashville or the songwriters and you say, okay, uh, Tim and Faith are cutting a duets album, they're looking for songs. Is that how it works? A little bit. I mean, some. Some, some. Yeah. I mean, um, the word is out. You know, it was Nashville just around the globe, honestly, because to be honest with you, writers are coming from all over the place. To Nashville, yeah. To Nashville to write with. Nashville songwriters, and then uh, Lori McKenna, who wrote uh, Humble and Kind, and has written so many mm -hmm. huge records, Girl Crush, and, and songs that I have cut in the past. She lives in Boston, mother of five. She's yet to move to Nashville, but she still comes down occasionally and writes in Nashville, but they also go to her to write. You know, so she feels um, staying in her comfort zone and her life helps to helps her to create those moments in writing, which I think is genius because uh, it's true, you have to have that inspiration. Sometimes when you're right in the middle of the city, you kind of get, I don't know, maybe a little trapped by what people say they need or want or what radio needs or wants. And um, we can't forget that it's artistic expression and it really does begin and end with a great song. So whether it is a duet or a, you know, or not, it has to be a great song first. When you're in the recording studio, are you, do you guys cut it together when you're doing duets? Or Yeah, we, yeah. When, we, when we're cutting the tracks, we yeah. cut together. We, we sort of have different approaches sometimes to it, but because uh, we're different artists. Um, but when we're laying down the tracks, we're side by side in the studio, sort of. Or face to face. Or face to face singing, yeah, working through the song. Um, but it's fun being in there. Faith likes to sing live with the band. I like to get the stuff down and then go back and sing later. Yeah. <laughs> I hate I'm not that. as good on I'm not as good right up front as, as she is. It takes a little work for me. I don't know about that. <laughs> I just like the energy, you know, that happens in the studio with the band and so but we compromise. <laughs> You'd have to. Yeah, we You're compromise. Right. You'd, have to. You'd have to. You'd have to. Twenty three years ago, first number one song for you and Don't Take the Girl. Uh still getting played here in the third decade at country radio. Gosh, third decade. Wow. Well, you know, that's back in the day. No, that's amazing, really, and he's still, like, churning out hits. That's incredible. What's the secret? What do you think? What do I think his to secret his, is? Yeah. I think that he is one of the best songmen in the business, period, in um, music. I don't care what genre. He is just a... He's an interpreter of song, and he is, uh, he, he's a stylist, and, and I, I mean, I don't know how, there's not a secret to it, that's just his gift, and he's serious about it, and it's a craft that he's, it's a God-given talent, but it's a craft that he has honed over all of these years, and he takes it very seriously, I and mean, he's thinking and breathing and 
you know, songs every single day, and he's always the first to check the mix and the first to listen to the song, and so that's, I mean, that's a little, it's not really a secret, but that's, he's just amazing at it. He's the best. It's the love of a good woman. That's <laughs> Good answer. Good boy. Good answer. Wow. Okay. If In I fact, could ask, I'm going to write that. One. That's a good song. <laughs> just one more question. I've always been so impressed how uh, you take that unknown songwriter, you take that unknown musician, that unknown artists such as the opening acts on your soul to soul tour where does that come from where it's it, that philosophy it's and that's what it has to be for you to give that kind of exposure that you guys do to up and coming artists well i think first and foremost before anything we're fans and that's yeah. why we got involved with music is because we were fans we grew up loving music and loving artists and and for me it, it was like listening to an album and, and picking out your favorite songs that you never heard on the radio. And it's sort of the same way with artists. It's like listening to music and find an artist that people haven't heard yet or just starting to get heard and really fall in love with what they do and the stylistically what they do. And sometimes they may not ever be heard on the radio, but you still love what they do and how, the, how they do it. And, and uh, that's what we wanted to do this year is we wanted to have somebody different every weekend and people that... And they were handpicked. They were handpicked. And, and we were, we, I mean, we believe in these artists and... They're great, and they have they have depth, and the audiences have loved them. Midlands opening, yeah, you know, and inspires. Yeah, yeah, they really are just well. Fantastic. And because of your endorsement, Midland got put at the beginning of a music meeting with us, and then it was just oh, oh my that's god. Great. Then you add it right away. So what? That's you, great. It works. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Oh, it's a great that's record really, too. It's really good. Oh, looking forward to. It. Well, thank you very much. So thank looking forward to the show tonight. Thank, thank you. you. It's nice to Thanks. see you. Yeah.